Hello everyone and welcome to Art with Teacher Ruena. Today we are going to learn about the artist Alberto Giacometti and we are going to make our own tin foil figures. Let's get started. Let me introduce you to him. Alberto Giacometti. He was born in 1901 and he died in 1966. Here are some of his sculptures of human figures. Alberto Giacometti was an important surrealist sculptor and painter. Say that word again, surrealist. Well done. Surrealism means above realism. If you think about something realistic, it makes sense. It's realism. Something in front of you, an object maybe. But if you look at the artworks on this page, the one on the left by Salvador Dali, you'll see it's totally unrealistic. That's why it's called surrealism. And also look at Alberto's artwork of the human figure. It's not in proportion, therefore it's called surrealism, above realism. Alberto Giacometti began to associate himself with very famous artists. For example, on the left, Johann Miro. Quickly say, Johann Miro. Yes, in the middle, Max Ernest and Pablo Picasso, very famous artists. I'm sure you know about Pablo Picasso. Giacometti experimented with the cubist method. Say that word again, cubist method. Well done. Cubism is a style of art which aims to show all of the possible viewpoints of a person or an object all at once. It is called cubism because the items represented in the artworks look like they are made out of cubes and other geometrical shapes. Giacometti, however, rather preferred to be part of the Surrealism movement. Surreal meaning above realism. But he was very interested in the Cubist method as well. From 1935 to 1940, Giacometti concentrated his sculpting on the human head. This was followed by a new and unique artistic phase in which his statues became stretched out, their limbs elongated. A perfectionist, Giacometti was obsessed with creating his sculptures exactly as he visioned through his unique view of reality. To his own consternation, because of his drive for perfectionism, they all ended up being carved small, many almost as thin as nails. A friend once said that if Giacometti decided to carve you, he would make your head look like the blade of a knife. Very thin. In his later years, Giacometti's creations were displayed at several large exhibitions throughout Europe. Riding a wave of international popularity, in 1965, despite being in poor health, he travelled to the United States for an exhibition of his works at the New York Museum of Modern Art. Now that you know more about Giacometti, let's create in 2D and 3D. But first, let's do our planning. Before we make our 3D tinfoil figures, we are going to practice drawing some figures so that we understand the proportion of the human body. You'll need A4, white paper or any other paper, scissors, a pencil, eraser, heavy duty tin foil, a black marker or sharpie, and then a glue gun. It's optional. It's not a must, it's optional. In your sketch pad, quickly use these images as references and practice drawing human figures in your book. Remember to add movement. It makes your figures interesting. Now that you understand the proportion of the human body, let's start with our 3D tin foil artwork. Make your own foil figure. Let's 
step one. Take a piece of aluminium foil, preferably heavy duty foil, and cut it to be 30 centimeters in length. Mark the foil at the top with a sharpie or your black marker as shown, and also on the bottom. Write on the foil at the top head, then the arms, torso right in the middle, and then legs. Cut slits where marked, two at the top to make the arms and head area and one at the bottom for the two legs. Go ahead, give it a try. Grab the foil in the center and smoosh inward to make the waist area. Squeeze together each leg and each arm to make more of a cylinder shape. Take the foil in the head area and start rolling it forward and crunching it at the same time. This will allow the head to have a chin area. Continue smooshing the foil to thin out the arms and legs and shape the head. Don't be scared, I know it's a little bit hard at the beginning, but keep on trying your best, you can do it. Now, manipulate the foil by pressing on it to make areas thinner and to get a fairly proportional body shape. Well done! It is not so easy to make it at first, but maybe try and make a second figure. You can do it! Well done! I'm proud of you! Now you can go on and add detail, for example a skirt or hair or maybe a soccer ball or something unique and interesting. Use your own creativity! Foil figures are so pretty! Go ahead and make yours! You may also create movement when making your human figure, foil figure. Look at this foil figure's scarf. It looks like it's blowing in the wind. That's excellent, excellent. Try to add the principles of art. You are so smart. Enjoy making your artwork and remember, never give up.